Our friend Michelle Turwell from the Quincy Family YMCA joins us this morning. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. A couple of things we're going to hit on. Yes. One, we'll talk about the turkey run, yes. which we'll do now. Okay. So you can still <laughs> register for this. Yes. Um, registration is going on. Our early mm -hmm. registration deadline is coming up this Thursday, so make sure you get it in so you're guaranteed a shirt and you also get the cheaper price. But we've got several events for everyone. It's a great big family tradition that many people have taken part of each year. And so we have a one mile fun run for the kids or adults can do that as well. <laughs> 5K walk, <laughs> yeah, 5K run, 10K run, or you can even swim for the event. So lots of different things, choices to choose from. Okay, is, is there an age limit or is it bring all, everybody nope, can Nope, anybody can come. Um, three and under is free. You get to do that with your parents if you're, you can you usually throw them in the stroller and stuff, but mm -hmm. um, anyone can come any ages, so bring the I whole family. If I take it in a stroller, is she free? <laughs> no, that, that no, work? no, I don't think she'll pass for a three-year-old. <laughs> How surprised are you every Thanksgiving morning when you look out at the crowd and see how many people take part in this? It is just amazing. That's my favorite part. I love standing back at the finish line and watching everybody go down Main Street. That is my favorite part. Um, the run has grown by hundreds each year. Last mm -hmm. year we set a new record of 2,600, wow. and this year our goal 3,000 so we're well on our way we've got I think about 800 registered as of yet this morning wow so, yeah. that is absolutely incredible yes, and um, where does all this money go what do you guys do with this as a fundraiser so the money that is brought in by the turkey run it goes to back into our youth programs at the Y so um, provide scholarship assistance for people that play sports um, our child care after school summer camp stuff like that um, anything child related it goes back to that which leads us into our next topic which mm -hmm. is also youth related but you guys are going to serve the veterans this weekend yes our after school kids they are amazing they came up with this idea on their own they're going to provide a free veterans dinner on Friday night for veterans oh. um, at Salem Church. It's going to be a spaghetti dinner. They have spaghetti, green beans, garlic bread, and dessert, doing everything on their own. They've um, had pe volunteers bring in the items and stuff, members and stuff like that, and they are going to make the spaghetti, the desserts, everything like that, cook it all, and then serve it to the veterans all on their own. So first time they've done this? First time they've done this. It's completely free, and they came up with it all on their own. So we are so proud of them. They are just, wow. they are great. That's that incredible. Awesome. And what is the age group of, of kids that decided they wanted to do um, this? Five, uh, five to 12. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I've cooked with some five to 12 year olds. <laughs> I'm sure that it'll be should delicious. Be interesting. Now, do people need to register? Or can they just show up at the church? They can and... just show up at the church, yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. it's again Salem Evangelical? Salem Church. Yep. Uh, at Ninth and State. Ninth and State. All and right. it's 4 30 to 6 30. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yes, but... very important. To... And it's free again for yes. veterans, for the mm -hmm. community, anybody? Veterans and their families. All right. Very nice. Michelle, mm -hmm. thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you.